So I thought I'd better record an intro at the start of this video because it's been a while since I uploaded a video last so sorry about that but there's been reasons there's lots going on behind the scenes with Enter Space 2 at the moment which sadly I can't discuss because uh, well yeah reasons basically uh, hopefully we'll be able to nearer to release or actually on release but let's just say I'm very much looking forward to doing a let's play uh, for the release version of the game on the 19th of May or around then perhaps a bit earlier perhaps a day or two later other than that I should mention the first two thirds of this video is going to be footage I recorded a while ago but I didn't have enough footage recorded to put it out the last third will be footage that I'm about to record after having done this intro and I'd also like to uh, let you know about other content on the channel uh, basically, Galsiv 3, the expansion to that came out recently, uh, Crusade expansion, so if you haven't checked that out, please do so if you have any interest in that game. It's a pretty good expansion. And I've also been doing Stellaris content as well, which I'm planning on doing more uh, for. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this intro. Let's get back to the Let's Play. So there are three new modules to use. Now sadly each of these is going to cost extra antimatter to use and I already lack it pretty significantly. If I had gone for the battleship it would have used anti or adamantium which I have no uh, source of whatsoever. And I wanted the extra support modules for this ship so that's really why I went for it. So in terms of these two support modules what I'm going to use it for well, there's one thing which is particularly good, and that's the flotilla shield capacity. So this will affect every ship within the flotilla, giving it extra shields. Now, the downside is it uses more antimatter, and in fact, I don't really think I have enough to uh, use it. So what I'm actually going to use is a worse version, which uses Hyperium, at least for the time being. So let's stick one of those on. I am very tempted to use that as well, which reduces the weight, the chance of it being targeted. It would use adamantium, which I don't have much of though. And to be honest, this ship is normally supposed to be a defensive ship, so you want it to be the target. But it's so specialised and it has so many uh, fleet supporting abilities, that's why I don't want it being targeted so much. And they are very expensive to replace as well, which, yeah, the phantoms don't matter so much. Although they are my main source of doing damage. So I won't go for that at the moment, but I might do in future. Um, what I'm actually going to go for then is an extra movement point for the fleet, which is yet more Hyperium. I could, um, yeah, how much is that? Uh, it's an extra eight. I mean, I could go for a double shield instead of extra movement points. It's four, but um, yeah, I need to get going. Uh, towards the Horatio capital for instance, that's why I'll go for that. And the weapon, yeah, double DPS, double cost, select that and apply design. So that should have upgraded properly, yes, that's the cost. Okay, so I'm going to have to upgrade those in various locations. I don't think there's any more combat I have to do, I'm not 100% sure. Let's move on our ship and yeah what I think I'm gonna do now I'll have a quick look uh, there's a shadow there let's move that on the ratio won't be too happy with me trespassing but I don't care that shadow is going around the Empire Looking at the fog bring those up in a bit and I can do a variety of expeditions here Okay, so let's do that and that. Okay, we found influence and virtual artifacts. Now that description of the effects, what they do in the bottom left, I actually think it's wrong. And the reason why I say that is because if we go into here and have a look at this, uh, yeah, you can see what it actually does there. It's not given approval. In fact, I think that's completely different. And that one's also different as well. It's uh, not the only case of that happening, though. With uh, these resources, it was also mistaken as well. So, we still have two more resources to find. Um, yeah, actually, that and that are probably going to be the best that I would have wanted as 
yeah, you don't know. As I believe I've mentioned before, you don't get every resource in every game. You always get those resources, the level 1 ones. So I'm going to want to get the uh, next level of development here pretty soon. But I'll go for the Culture Flip Tank first, at the very least. Okay. So... Right, what I'm going to do now then is take a minute out to update my build list, finish up the movement, probably truce out, and uh, end the turn. So here is systems management this turn, basically getting tons of colonies still, system development still. I actually forgot one of the expeditions last turn, so getting that up on Zoo. I'm not going to be able to get in any of the new resources actually until I think I've gotten up most of the new planets. I think ones that I did find are on those. Yeah, none there so far. I actually bought a tiny bit of Quadranix this turn that happened to turn up in the market just in case I need it at some point. Still need to get in my last trade in the subsidiary and maybe move some of my capitals, but it's not a massive priority now, just uh, doing. Yeah, getting my fleets to the positions where I need to win the game is really the priority. The Doyo Evens, one of the new resources, I think, um, yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but I've uh, used that to speed the growth. I would like more of those. Tikkanen and also the nearest don't seem to be all that useful for me. Don't know any of the laws still for the races, so who knows if they're good or not. We were very close at one stage to getting the Epistus lore, but I've been moving them around because I don't like them all that much. Uh, I'm not making many buildings, they're not that useful anymore, and they have ecologist reaction, which I don't need. So, yeah, that's how population is looking. Now, I've got a tiny bit of movement left before I end the turn. So, what's left? Uh, shadow over there, fleets over here. So I'm going to move these fleets on, so these can come up towards this. And I'm actually going to station them there, but I don't think I'm going to attack the Lumeris this turn. Next turn, probably am. So there's some ships. Ah, there's so far. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, let's lock that down. I think. All of those have been upgraded. I can culture flip all this very soon, a couple of turns hopefully. Uh, that can go to there. That can go up there. Okay. These are taken out of the Hanna. Can I upgrade them this turn? 10 antimatter? Yeah, I should be able to. Let's bring those up in that general direction as well. Okay, so I think that's all of the ships down here. There's nothing over here these days. There's a ton of Perseus though. So I think what I'm going to do with the Perseus fleet is bring them around this uh, speedy obstacle route, so to speak, and uh, bring them towards that direction, I think. I'm going to be ending the war against the Sophons and Cravers this turn. I don't think it's a reason to continue on with it, so... Um, yeah, let's uh, group those up then and bring those up to there. Now they should regenerate their movement, shouldn't they? Let's have a look if that is indeed what happens by getting near this turn. Okay, there's a couple of Craver ships. Yeah, they did. Brilliant. So it is working. Oh, I can upgrade these Wraith ships as well. Uh, if I have enough antimatter, which... Um, yeah, might do just about. Okay, well, that's a lot of money actually as well. Right, so they are super modern ship designs. Let's. Oh, I was gonna attack it, but no, I can't. So uh, that's a bit of an issue. Let's bring them down to here. It looks like upgrading uh, gets rid of that the action point, allowing you to attack. Right, they should get all the movement map. It's going around there as well. Uh, these phantoms uh, can't upgrade because I'm out of antimatter. Okay. Uh, let's bring them up 
the... Can I get that in one turn? Okay. I don't think I had enough movement to do that. Movement's back again. Uh, right. Oh, hang on a second, I got the ability to attack that. Excellent. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm sure. I think there's maybe something going on there. I uh, shouldn't have had the moving back for this fleet. Not sure. I uh, have to have a look at the recording to see what's going on there. Uh, let's uh, do that one. Right, and hopefully I don't get a bug again with this. Right. Okay, excellent. What's here then? There's a phantom. Right, let's get that to there. Yeah, I uh, don't understand. That should be more than like seven moving points up to there, surely. Right, I think I'll keep that small fleet of phantoms back, protecting that. Probably. Not 100% sure, I might move on in a minute. Uh, let's move those on to there. Hopefully I can attack that. Something. Yeah. Okay, just one, but one's enough against a crappy colony ship. Okay. Right, that retreats. Let's move them on to there. I think everything's moved around here apart from that, isn't it? So I've got a ton of ships that can actually probably move on again here because they should have got them all there moving back there. So these are very useful actually, now that they're working. Uh, right. What I might be able to do... Yeah, I can do that here. Let's do that. that slows down the rate speeds at mine. Okay. So that shadow ship... I see an expeditions in the area. There's one down there. That one's incoming. What's that? That fleet needs upgrading, but I'll bring it down to here. Let's attack that. Okay. In the main now, I'm just moving towards the Horatium. Ah, that's a pain. Ah, a couple of that ship moved off. I don't know why the Vodiani still exist actually. I think I took out their last arc ship. And it's actually got seven movement left. Uh, let's. Is there a faster route? Right, five turns away from Izzel with that fleet. Yeah, some of the free movement ships might be able to get there a bit sooner. Uh, let's get down here then. Which is the quickest route? I'll figure it out. Um, let's come down there. Okay. Uh, right, there's a bit of combat around there, perhaps. Let's do it. So that can. Ah, oh, no, it's already attacked this turn. But I might be able to bring that, that another fleet down here in a second. Right, that's only got one moving point on, so I won't move it. I can go to there. The Vodiani might be at war with the uh, Horatio, I'm not sure. Let's have a look who the Horatio are actually at war with, because I don't know. Uh, it's... Which one is it? That one? Yeah, they're at war with the Vodiani. Okay. Alright, can I attack here? That's strange. That looks like it's in the fleet. I have action points and yet I'm not able to attack. Hmm. Yeah, not good. Uh, right. Let's move that down here. I'm just going to rush now, basically. Let's move to there first. Kill that en route, if possible. Okay. No, I allowed it to... Uh, is it because it's in Horatio territory? Yeah, I think that's what it is, actually. 
Uh, if I hover over that... Shall I attack the Horatio now? Tempted to. I mean, I don't really need to though yet. I should do it last second because of truce issues. There's a Horatio fleet there I can see. Oh, that's not good. They have 22 command points. Wow, look at the strength of that fleet. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. I need uh, command points to uh, group up a bigger fleet then, that means. Okay. That's doable. So, if I get that in, it's four turns away. I'm just going to move my fleet down here, though, I think, still. Right. can group up at some point later on. Uh, that can come down here. I don't know if they have culture flip technology, and I actually need to know. You know what? Let's get that first. I think it's pretty important by the looks of it. I'll get the culture flip technology next. Okay. Don't want to lose my fleets when I get over there. It would be pretty painful. eventually. It's taking me a while to get through it though. Right, so I hopefully can attack them in Taka as well now, or can I? Yeah, uh, I need to declare war. Might as well take it. Because they're allied to the Bodhyani, that could in theory be what's keeping them around. Uh, let's see that's put damage. Let's attack that. Let's watch this one. See what their infantry looks like. Should take it this turn. These aren't full on manpower actually. So I can do a turn to uh, get them back. I've got enough. Four fleets basically coming in to uh, attack the Horatio's homeworld now, pretty much. Right, it looks like that's going to flip over to the now, which I uh, wasn't expecting. Right. It's a pain. Uh, it's only going at 4% in their favour, but they could buy it out for 8,000, which, um, yeah, they'll probably do pretty soon. So the bonus for assimilating those guys, culturally resistant, which uh, would be useful here, certainly. Let's, well, this fleet, he has a free movement. So how much manpower to go on? 100%, okay, excellent. Let's just get this one down here straight away then. So use its free movement to uh, get there quickly. And that can come down here. Okay. Now, do I have anything left? Probably. Uh, that shadow ship can come down there. That's it's coming in. Oh, I've still got all these. Uh, right. Uh, do they have manpower? Hundred percent. They should do. That one doesn't. Okay. It's actually getting it back though. Uh, let's bring that to. What's that? Ten of phantoms. 89% is enough. Let's just bring the lot down to here as quickly as I'm able to. Right. Okay. 
So I think I've done all of the movement. Let's peace out now with the uh, so fawn. Don't see a reason to do this. So accept. Not to do this. I'm gonna piece up the cravers now as well. Right, so there's no pop up for that. I was expecting it. Keep on forgetting that. Uh, let's truce with the cravers then as well. You're about to call for a truce with the sand pipe. Accept it. It will end the war. Blah blah. Yeah. Okay. So we're back to Cold War. It says war is still worth the cravers, eh? I'm not sure if they accepted that or not. Perhaps they uh, decided to continue on with it, which uh, that's not good for me. Got the odd fleet around here. Okay, so I think that's it for the turn. Let's end the turn. So... I've got to group, start grouping up my fleets. Some of these coming down here into a mega fleet. Uh, we get extra two command points per hull type on Empire. There's going to be at least another eight command points, I think. So that's uh, going to mean bigger fleets to maybe take on the likes of uh, fleets like that. Look at their movement though, the AI. That's a uh, big floor. So, uh... Yeah, AIs just aren't very good at using a lot of movement points though, so I think that's why maybe developers don't give them a lot of movement points, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a flaw. Human player can make use out of a lot of movement, as I'm trying to do. It's the main focus of mine, getting as much movement as possible. Right, so... Right, there's a couple of things there. I think a couple of population boosts have run out. The Mavros and uh, what was that? Truce accept. Oh, okay, so it took a turn to come in. Uh, we get a bit of extra money for 11 turns. I think, though, I'm actually able to declare war on these. Yeah, at any time still. So that's pretty huge ability. I think normally I would have to spend influence, but because I have the militarist party in, it's free for war declarations. Okay. Outpost alert on their rod. Right, they built something there, that's not good. Excuse me. I probably should have, yeah, maybe kept a few ships back here. So, how are we doing there? I spend titanium. Yeah, I definitely need uh, something there, really. A few phantoms. Okay. So in terms of combat, this turn I'm actually I'm at war with the Fordiani still. I probably need to get a colony ship down to there, but I'm not actually going to be able to colonize it because it's uh, within the Horatio influence. So I hope I don't literally have to own this system. Bring all the major factions' home systems under your control. Kind of suggests like it might be. Uh, something I need to do. So I might have to take that off the Horatio and colonize that coming up. Okay, right, I don't think there's any uh, combat to do at the moment, so what I'm going to do now after I've uh, done this is take a minute out to update my build list. Okay, so this is my build list for the turn, and I'm now recording again after having recorded that intro. So this is how things are looking, getting the new colonies, bits of science and other places. I would be building ships if I had a bit more antimatter perhaps, but uh, I don't. Uh, I'm also doing system developments and the places I've taken recently. In terms of money and marketplace and so on, I've got a huge amount of cash now. I sold a ton of more of my goods this turn as you can see down here and I probably should be figuring out what to spend this on but I haven't really figured it out yet I think I bought a tiny bit of uh, well a few items on Razum this turn now uh, in here there's actually a new hero so I'm gonna hire them 
and they happen to be a scavenger counselor type hero I think so they are now hired now I'm not gonna look through all of my planets trying to figure out where to put them at the moment I'll probably do it next time I take a minute out to do a build list or something I also of course did all my freight this turn what else have I done this turn I've actually updated some of my ships and we really are closing in on victory now and if everything goes to plan so what I've done with my ships the wraith ship I think I upgraded uh, my flotilla shield for the antimatter version so I need less Hyperium I'm lacking in both actually here the Horatio actually seem to use projectiles if my memory is correct so I've switched more over to plate tin, so it's half and half and I've done the same on the phantoms as well in terms of defense so if you have a look at the uh, Horatio's big fleets yeah they're all projectiles maybe I should put more projectiles on actually but I'm actually not only going after the Horatio of course I need to declare war on the Lumeris so I'm gonna be doing that now uh, if we come in here and we are at peace at the moment but I should be able to declare war outright and it's actually gonna be for free because we have the military party in the families will, rem will remember this deceit one day when you think this insult long forgotten we will come for you well, I think uh, I'll have won the game by the time we get around to that, hopefully. So, I've moved one fleet over to here, and it's on Sosmanos. I actually have decent defense there, which I wasn't really expecting. Uh, right, so I'm trying to come down towards the capital as quickly as possible, pretty much. But I think I will take Sosmanos en route, because it's, well, en route. My ships, my fleets aren't really in position yet. Over on uh, near towards the hit ratio. So I've upgraded Phantoms to Phantom 9, the new uh, defenses on there. Didn't have enough antimatter to upgrade those. Let's also move these in. That's within my territory. I'm going to get Culture Flip in next turn, so it won't matter. Yeah, not me not taking that at the moment. Right, so I've got all of those lined up there. Let's lock that down and invade. I guess I'll do infiltration. I won't watch this one. Okay. Let's fight. Yeah, so that's what I thought would happen. It's going to take a couple of turns, but. Uh, it's not the end of the world, hopefully. Right, so that's done. What have I got left to move this turn then? So there's quite a few fleets around here. I can't upgrade those, sadly. Uh, I've got two fleets here. Uh, I'm going to get the extra command points next turn, so I should be able to group up my fleets. How long to get in there? Three turns. I think i got yeah fleets around here that's already en route. I'm a bit worried that about that fleet coming in there and maybe attacking me. Um, let's move that down though. Did I need it there? I'm trying to remember now. It's been a while. Uh, let's come down to there. Can't attack them because it's within their territory. Unless I declare war on Horatio. I think I'll bring one of these fleets down to here. I'll route down to there as well. And I'm actually going to bring one of them over in that direction, which maybe I shouldn't do. I might have enough against Lumaris. But um, I'll put that down as well. Uh, let's bring that down here. So I wouldn't mind taking Kionos and Ukda. It's two turns. Um, we go for Ukda, shall we? Yeah. I can 
can culture flip that one very easily once I get the culture flip tech. If I take that, their influence should, should start to go down. Right, what have I got left to move? Uh, it's that. Let's lock it down. Uh, there's so many ships here which need to do expeditions. Let's do so. Okay, we found virtual artifacts. Uh, well, good for the ratio. Uh, that shadow ship can stay there, I guess. That colony ship can come down in that direction. Don't know. I have no idea what this screen is. It pops up every now and then. I think it's a bug of some sort. Okay, so that should get all its moving back from these singularities. Very useful. Let's keep on coming down here and hope it doesn't get attacked at some point. Uh, want to colonize that. Well, I may need to colonize that, but I need to take that first. So. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, those phantoms, I'm not sure what I'm doing with. I'll probably bring them down here. Shadow ship, let's do an expedition. Okay. I don't know why the Vodiani still exist, because they don't have a... Uh, yeah. Arc anymore today, so it's weird as well. Okay. Uh but it's this fan yeah, I don't really need those phantoms over here, do I? I'm at peace now with the cravers. Let's bring them over here. Got that weird pop up again. Okay. Well that moves around, I'll do something else. Uh, that shadow ship. Alright, it's phantoms there. Guess I keep them there. What the hell is that? That shadow can move on. Uh, those phantoms can move on. I'll probably blockade that to help me get the system. Shadow Phantoms. Won't blockade there because that fleet worries me. It might be stronger than me. Area. Shadow can move there. So one, two, three. Right, I think that's the end of the turn then. I hope I haven't forgotten anything that's crucial. I've moved all the fleets over there. Got a ton of ships incoming. A senator.